Yo, we got the golden age guru here. It's been a minute since we've been uh, back to the hunting grind, but oh, we're back man. at this giant collection. It's been too long. Comics haven't necessarily gone up in value that much since we acquired this. Actually, in fact, they've gone down in value. Since last time we were here, yeah. What do you think, 50%? At least 50%, but that also put us in a position to like not look at this as a urgent thing. It's not a rush. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. That's a nice way to put it. That's, right? that's what I'm telling myself. This was over a quarter of a million dollars. So shall we go hunting? Yes. I'm just gonna start pulling boxes and we'll see what we can find. 2004 is calling my name. 2004. So, hopefully it's not all indie books. Let's put them right there. And right oh, there. independent. Okay, so this is gonna be one of every book instead of multiples. Oh gosh. This so is... 2004. I, I'm trying to find the boxes that have like five comics and there's like a hundred of each. <laughs> so you need to find the ones that say investment. What have you been up to? Oh man, I got two kiddos, so mostly kid activities. <laughs> Why don't you get them here? They should be doing this. They should That's be. That's what my dad used to make me do. But I'll be honest with you, I don't think I've trained them well enough to be here doing it. And that could be bad parenting on my part. <laughs> bad parenting, <laughs> Maybe something. it's good parenting they're not involved. I mean, they got their own aspirations. So what we're doing is we're putting these in oh, long cool. boxes, numbered, and then they all go in a Google Doc what's in every single box. So this has kind of been the process so far. I don't know, already 150 <laughs> boxes. We'll probably have another 200 more to go. It is right. maybe a little crazy. I mean, this is all new to me, so I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Ugh. Just go for it. Let's see what's in some of this shit. Okay, well, this is the first thing. There I want go. some of these, baby. Ooh. Look at, Look at that. 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 It just randomly pops Look up. Look at that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, we got some Savage Dragon in here, too. Some Savage Dragon. It's nice and packed tight. Oh, shoot. We got there even go. more. Yeah. We got some of I those think today, that time baby. frame. At that time frame, we did probably like 40 to 50. That's a really good one to get some. I think. Some see if Morbius. we can find a... New Mutants 98 in one of these. X-Men. Oh, shit, yeah. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. dude. They're all good shit. Ooh, Spawn 3. Yeah, that's been awful. This is Eternal Warrior. Issue number one. And it's a full stack of them. But here's the thing about Eternal Warrior. Yeah, tell me. You don't buy Eternal Warrior 1s without getting, in the same year, Oh, 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 hello, Spawny. Look at that. Look. Oh, I bet you there's more than that, too. That. At this time frame, he was probably buying almost 40, well, 40 books. Yeah, a lot of this stuff in these boxes is that time frame in the 90s. Early 90s, late 90s, I'm hoping to find. Are you talking like? Yeah, like this. Like, like this? Is this, do people like McFarlane Spider-Man still? I think so. He's this, still, uh, I don't know. McFarlane, he's the one that had all they the may pouches. Not want he's the guy thing. who did all the pouches, right? He did the spiders and the webs oh, and the, the chains. Look at that. So this is what's fun. Todd McFarlane on my show during an interview mentioned that about half the print run had, yep, this, a smudge on the logo. So they actually had to fix it. He said he wishes he could give a percentage, but he said it was about a 50-50 split. Who knows what it's weighted against, um, but look at this. I'm curious how many of these actually have the error. I bet you the whole thing. Nope. Oh, I would think they all would have. One had the error so far. Two have the error so far. That'd be interesting. Be they don't here. all have it at the same time? No error. Interesting. How many of these will have the error? So far, two out of two for two. Oh, three for it's it's not half. Be every other, is it? Really? Weird. Every other? Every other one. Interesting. Now, look at that one, dude. Every other one had the error. That's so weird. That's a, that does make sense that it would be a 50-50 split, but what doesn't make sense is that this would be all together, right? You would imagine they would all either be would, one or the other. Yeah, I would think that. All right, so that was a non-error. This one should be an error if it is a 50 split, and it's an error. What is going on, dude? What What is this? Huh. That doesn't happen. Not, um, so this next one should be an error. That one should They've be been one-to-one, one, right? Ready? Yeah. What? Full stack, this makes no sense that these would be a split of 50-50, even though we know there is an error 
and a non-error version of Spawn 1 that was supposedly 50-50, because this all came from one place, delivered to one person. I mean, the only way I could think this has happened is that there's two stacks, errors and non-errors, and they got at distribu distribution, somehow got filed in. This right here is like pretty good evidence of it being 50-50 yes. from the printer though. Yeah. Which honestly, if you were a printer, you knew you had to send out the error and you didn't want to reprint it and you want to pay more money, you'd probably pepper them in, wouldn't you? Otherwise, oh. you'd have stores who got 30 copies all get the error. I don't even know what to make of it. So this maybe this is an early part of the run. Hit up Todd McFarlane. Let him know what's going on. Todd Father, talk to me, Papa. We got to find that Spidey 300, hopefully. All God right, willing. So, I know, I'm kind of like wedged here. This is what you got to do, like, comic fam. You got to go in the tight spaces. Oh, look at that. All right. Uh, Twisting motion. That's how you throw your back out. I think in hindsight, I would have stacked this differently <laughs> in this process. <laughs> All right, here we go. Detective Comics, 654 times, I don't know, 40. Okay, uh, you can. You know what? You can have all of those, Jeff. I give Thank them you. to you. All right, so Captain America, you have, gosh, dude, this dude was buying books literally in the last few years. This is a Mortal yes. Hulk right here. He bought it the 2022 40. even, 21, I think. He got, fact, dude, there's facsimiles in yep. here. So weird. It's a tough book. Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, it's always pull ASM. That's cool. Yep. I miss Donny Cates on everything. Donnie, come back. Nova, 36. Some Thunderbolts. Ah, there oh, you go. There you go. Marvel's greatest hits. <laughs> this is reprints of the of the keys. Unfortunately. You're welcome. All there right, last stack in this box right there. Let's see here. Thanos, the final threat. All right, Thanos. Got the Defenders. Versus X, Black Widow. Oh, that's our hero. Hit Girl 3, I bought that off the shelf. That box could be interesting right there. Right there, the wrap and fresh. There you go, the wrap and fresh. You wanna try something like that or? Okay. Cause those have all been surprises. That's uh, where like. That's where we got the Spawn 1. Fours, <laughs> Spawn 1s, all the. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, Walt Disney books. Oh wow. That's kind of cool again. Those are, those are tough. Can pull it out? Yeah, put it aside. It'll be interesting to see with those. Crap ton of copies of Batman 459. Oh, say it ain't so. And then we got uh, McFarlane. Oh. I like this one because it's a whole lot of spider cake on the cover. Tormented. Look at that. Look at that booty. Oh, look at the cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky. indeedy. What's the other side? Another spidey? It's all spidey. Yeah, let's put those aside. Uh, what is this? Oh, Cletus, baby. We got some Cletus. That's a good one. I like how the comics are over here, and if you look to the right, there's a shelf, and you're like, you know what, I'll put a couple over here too. <laughs> I did, I was like, oh my god, it's too tight. What was the last Golden Age comic you bought? Uh, it is a classic decapitation cover. <laughs> it's Crime Does Not Pay, issue number 20. You gotta look it up, it's amazing. Oh, Dark Knight Returns, number two. Wah, wah. Dark Knight 2. <laughs> I have the rest of the run, I think. So I'm gonna put together some sets. Doomsday Clock, Batman, oh, uh, Batman White Knight is kind of cool, but this is uh, number seven, so I'm gonna... Brave and the Bold, we got some, this is uh, Tom King, Mr. Miracle. Oh, look at this Darth Vader cover, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's great. Let's pull that out, that's dope. So I guess that's kind of like part of it is we don't know all of them, but sometimes you kind of go with your gut, don't you? Mm -hmm. This guy like, this is Darth Vader cover, it looks cool, check it out. It's probably worth five bucks, but. Right. Also, those are the times that I find myself learning the most. You know, when you go with your gut, you you look it up, you have that win, then you never forget the cover. Yeah, I've learned the most from just buying collections because you just have to. You have to just take the time. You have to dig deep and find Dude, stuff. look at this Darth Vader cover. Look how cool this is, number 15. Whoa. There's a lot of origin stuff that happens in this Charles Soul run as well. Oh, this is cool. So this is the this is around the time where all the characters that Marvel realized, oh, we can double dip on all of our famous characters by just venomizing them. So you got like venomized Thanos. Oh, that's a really cool one. That's a cool book. Um, so I'm gonna put that one aside too. This isn't a bad box. I mean, 2018 had some cool, yeah. some cool books, didn't it? All right, what else we got? What else we got? Old Man Hawkeye. I remember Hawkeye was in Old Man Logan for a bit. He's blind, but he's like one of the few surviving superheroes from the onslaught of the Hulk. 
All right, that's cool. I'm just pulling out all the Darth Vader just in case. I feel like we just gotta check all of these Darth Vaders. And they're such cool covers, look at this. How often do you see Anakin once he's gone full Sith without the helmet on? Not a whole lot of covers you see without his helmet. I think it's pretty no, cool. that entire run has unbelievable covers. It really does. This is cool. Remember um, during uh, Dark Knight's Metal throughout like that entire yeah, Scott Snyder yeah, yeah. run, all the foils. We got a bunch of these foils. Oh, that's a cool I mean, one. These are cool covers. You got Batman Who Laughs and and they're all separate. Some of the some of these books with the foils and the high gloss covers stuck together. Yeah, those actually so were all separate. Damaged. Yeah, they're not damaged. All right, and we got a nice little stack of books right there, and Sweet. I lost my shoe. You lost your it's shoe. It's down the hole. Shoot. This how is, often is it like this? Dude, all the time. Are you kidding me? This is actually better this than is most. How many, this is how books were printed. How much of it has actually like got value to it? I mean, for how much doesn't? Under five percent. Oh, way under five percent. Like sort of. Bad. I mean, all of the nineties has been a, a struggle, and just like that, we are done. <laughs>